When a woman's sexuality is the most extreme experience, this woman sat in a pile of men and crossed her legs, then take out a cigarette and hold it in her mouth, no need to say anything, no need to ask for a light, a man will come forward, she lights the fire depending on her mood, point to whoever sleeps with tonight, but the woman is too beautiful, people are jealous and envious, pull directly to the street a beating, why should she be the only one who can be so beautiful, in the last century, Good looks were a crime, such a thing, it started a few days ago, Anna was the town's most famous beauty, she was beautiful, especially the pendant that is quite large ah, just walking down the street men would clap their hands at her, of course not everyone respects Anna, most men are looking at the rape to adjust the gears, some are even cheeky enough to kiss her directly on the mouth. If Anna was not a military wife, I'm afraid some people have already started to commit crimes, but it didn't last long. Anna's husband died heroically in the war. The town held a morning service. Not a single man cried. Instead, there were smiles, because they knew that the opportunity for courtship had come. That day Anna asked for help from a lawyer. He was very kind and did not charge a penny, just to dance with Anna in the evening. Then the lawyer opened his mouth and asked for an exorbitant commission fee. Since there is no money, then pay in kind. Anna was terrified and hid upstairs. The lawyer is behind her and pulls up her skirt together in the house to play poker all night. Soon after, the men get wild. Anna molested in the street. What's more, the merchants wouldn't even charge her for the food. You must play poker for one night or you won't get food. In order to survive, Anna had to change her face and become the plaything of the men. And her tragedy has just begun. There is one thing that all adolescent boys must have done. That is to look at beautiful women together. The woman in front of you is absolutely superb. Jack saw it and fell in love at first sight. Cannot help but raise the little dent. Eyes staring straight at her. Through the long skirt can see the suspenders. And then look up. A string of cross necklace is a lethal weapon. A chance. The goddess asked Jack to run an errand to buy something. Coins accidentally fell to the ground. Jack looked down to pick up this beautiful legs in front of. He first understood what it means to die under the skirt of a pomegranate. So Jack began to crazy crush, with binoculars to observe the goddess. Look at this sitting position. Whenever he passed by the goddess's yard, Jack will be watching secretly. Find his time to enter the house and sneak in over the wall. Do not think he is to go to the goddess confession. In fact, people who have a crush will do so. When he gets home, he uses it to wash his face. He can even be a little more obscene. The girl out shopping Jack on a bicycle to follow. Also deliberately run in front of people to feel a touch of perfume when they pass by. This crush in the end how crazy. Whenever Jack heard someone say bad things about girls, he will spit in the drink and give them to drink. It's not just the men, even women who like to gossip. Jack also want to retaliate, make black tea in the bag. Jack secretly protects the goddess, but he is too beautiful to make people want to commit crimes. At night Jack went to the goddess home to spy, and found that she was robbed by bad guys, and he can only watch through the cracks. Jack found more and more men in and out of the goddess home to her hands. The girl could not resist. This is the price of beauty. In Jack's eyes she was no longer associated with innocence. That night the goddess cut off her long hair. She had no one to turn to. She had to resign herself to being a plaything for the men. This is the worst woman I've ever seen. She was beaten up and cut because she was too pretty. Is it a crime to be good looking? There is no justice. Just a few days ago, Anna was the town goddess. Walking down the street, she turned heads. Men could only watch from afar, until Anna's husband died in the war and her father died unexpectedly. Only then did men begin to court the widow. Some high-ranking officials barged in and got Anna alone. He offered him money and begged off, but the high official said I want both the man and the money. And some merchants could not buy anything to eat. Anna had to pay in flesh or wage to starve to death. She had to give in. Every day, different men come and go from the house. Thus Anna was forced to change her face. He found out that people are only interested in looks. Good looks can really do anything they want. Take a cigarette and put it in her mouth. Then a group of men came around and lit her up. Anna was getting out of her depth. She could talk to officers with her face. She became the bus of the town's scorn. So she was picked up by the Women's Institute and dragged out into the street and beaten up. Anna's head was shaved. Let's see what other men like her. It's true that pretty girls can be used for whatever they want. The town couldn't take Anna anymore. She had to escape by train. As far away as possible and never come back. A few days later a one-armed man returned to the town. Passers-by took a closer look at him and saw that he was Anna's husband. Everyone thought he had died in the war. The man inquired in the town about Anna's whereabouts. People laughed. 
they sarcastically said that he had married a prostitute and had the nerve to look for her, but he didn't give up his search. Anna leaves the town by train. A few years later a couple appears on the streets of Sicily. Anna, the woman who was bullied by all the men in the town for being too good looking, beaten and cursed by the women and shouldered a tragic fate, is back. The scars on her face are still visible. Everyone looked at them as if they had committed a crime. Anna went to the market alone. It was the first time she bought something with money and the merchant slipped down her clothes. They seemed to have forgotten something, not to bring up her past. Instead, they show their apologies by their actions. Is it really wrong to be beautiful? The movie Sicilian Beauty. Some people watch it as a metaphorical political film. Some watch it as a young romance. Some watch it as a sexually explicit film. Which one are you? I'll see you in the next video.